Chromium-6, it's a real hazard, and we all need to be aware of it and take appropriate measures. What is it exactly? Chromium-6, sometimes called hexavalent chromium, is a chemical substance found in various compounds. These compounds are all toxic and carcinogenic and can lead to serious health problems or even death. Getting it on your skin can cause allergic reactions, ulceration, or burns. Inhaling it can bring on asthmatic symptoms or lead to a perforated septum or even lung cancer. Swallow it and you could become nauseous or dizzy or have gastrointestinal problems or damage vital organs such as your kidneys, liver, or blood cells. Maintenance worker in power plant at a high risk. Chromium-6 can be formed when steel containing chromium are exposed to high temperature and to oxygen atmosphere, especially when calcium compounds are present. How do you recognize chromium-6 and where can you expect to find it? It presents as a yellow, yellowish, or white residue on a steel component in powder form, although it could be caked on too. Many power stations have reported deposits of chromium-6 on gas or steam turbine blades and around nozzles. So when you come across a substance that could be chromium-6 uh, when you're on a maintenance job, you need to take immediate action. Stop what you're doing and call a supervisor or the site safety officer. They will further handle the situation. How is the situation handled? An area of at least a meter around the suspected substance must be demarcated first. It is not allowed to eat, drink, or smoke in this area. It is important to avoid any skin or eye contact with the residue. Personal protection equipment is required, such as disposable, double-layered nitrile gloves and safety glasses. A face shield and P3 mask are needed if the residue can become airborne. A chromium-6 detection kit with a swab is used. If the swab immediately turns a violet color, the deposit is confirmed to be contaminated by chromium-6. If not, no further action is needed and the zone is declared safe. If the contamination is confirmed, the zone needs to be clearly demarcated. In addition, a disposable overall must be worn throughout the cleaning phase. A specific cleaning procedure using an oil or water-based agent is followed to avoid the residue to become airborne as it is removed. The use of compressed air or abrasive agent is prohibited. It is essential not to touch anything that's been in contact with chromium-6. All waste, including personal protection equipment, should be disposed of separately according to the applicable waste procedures. When the chromium-6 area has been cleaned, the demarcation is removed and activities can resume. And don't forget to wash your hands afterwards. What do you do if someone has touched, inhaled, or swallowed some of the chromium-6? Make sure your workplace is secure and act fast whatever the situation. Call first aid and take the victim to the hospital as soon as possible. Chromium-6. Be vigilant, act quickly, act decisively.